Hi folks, Gavin here from Player TV, and today I'm taking a look at a very special product from one of the world's top um, extreme benchmarkers, um, Roman Hartung, or aka Debauer. This is the Debauer D-Lid Dimate X. Now this is a de-lidding tool which is specifically designed for de-lidding Intel's um, socket LGA2066 um, and current chipset is X299 processors. So the likes of the 7740X, the 7820X and the 7900X and obviously all other Skylake X and KB Lake X processors. So this retails for around £75 in the UK um, from Overclockers UK and around 90 euros in the European Union from Case King. Now this tool has been specifically designed with performance in mind. So obviously everything used on the tool itself in terms of materials um, and obviously the, the, the direct impact of having top quality materials is obviously when you're dealing expensive CPUs such as the 7900X, 7900X um, obviously you want your tool to be 100% reliable and do the job exactly 100% perfect 100% of the time. So in terms of the materials that this particular, you know, D-Lid tool from Debauer is made from, it uses aluminium and stainless steel components. So unlike the um, D-Lid, the Dialid Mate 2 um, and the Dialid Mate, well, the original Dialid Mate was actually made from, I think it was POM. Um, which is obviously plastic. Now it did obviously have a hundred percent success rate on all of my, you know, KB Lake um, processors. But this tool is the next level in terms of engineering. So it's obviously very nice to to have. Um, it's very special thanks to Debauer for sending the tool in for this video and to obviously allow us to deal with our 7900X. So obviously I've mentioned it's compatible with Intel Skylake X and KB Lake X processors. Um, in terms of, you know, what you get in the box, you get the D-Lid Diamate X and you obviously get an Allen key and you get a positioning aid for the reapplication of your CPU. So it's basically, as you can probably hear through the microphone, it is pretty clunky. It's quite big and some people might say it's expensive, but obviously if you're going to be D-Lidding £1,000 processor, you know, 90 euros or a 75 pound isn't gonna be a big outlay in terms of, you know, if you use the likes of the razor blade method or the vice method, you're probably gonna damage your CPU, whereas with this tool, you're not gonna have that issue. So obviously I've got a 7900X in my hands. Now it's been pre de because I had to de it to do the testing mythology for the video. So, I'm going to show you, quickly show you the process of how it works, then I'm going to talk a bit about the performance and then give you my final thoughts. So, to use the Debauer D-Lid Diamate X tool, it's a very easy and simple process and it's actually, you know, a testament to Debauer's level of engineering and obviously knowledge on this. So obviously you've got different components, you've got, obviously you've got your screw, um, which is a hex bolt, which is why the Allen key has been provided thanks to Debauer. And what this does is it actually pushes the, um, it applies pressure onto the IHS and it pops the glue off around the thing, around the chip. So just to give you a rough idea, so this is what you do, you put your CPU in, um, into the hole. You use the guiding mount and you clamp down your processor so it's basically what what it's actually doing is it's mounting the processor in via the ihs through a screw so as you can see it's very 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 easy to use and then all you actually do to de lid your tool making sure it's in the right way because what what will happen is um if it is in the wrong way you're going to crack um the die and you don't want to do that so basically it's a case of twisting and what happens is it is the screw is pushing the mechanism in and all you do is you screw it and you twist it all the way and what will happen is you'll probably hear like a small crack and that's just the don't worry about that that's just the um, silicon or the glue from that Intel have put around the chip um, to keep the IHS in place 
that will come off and obviously all you need to do is unscrew the mount take it off there and then obviously you can take your chip off there and take it out and um, make sure you take very good care when taking the chip out you don't want to damage the die but it is you have got finger grooves in the sides here and here to allow you to get in just to pick it out but yeah let's see how it performs under our tests and let's see if intel have failed which they have with the thermal paste obviously so in terms of thermal performance with Intel's i9-7900X um, with the processor obviously that I'm using here today um, and the testing methodology was pretty simple I would run um, I'd run Prime95 with AVX on um, to get a temperature um, now at stock um, I was running at 4.5 gigahertz at 1.3 volts now Obviously, this is to test the, the main capabilities of, you know, why this tool is very useful and why you want to use, um, you know, better thermal paste. Because the, the thermal paste that Intel provide between the IHS and the die itself is pretty lacklustre. We've complained about it for years. It doesn't seem like they're going to do anything about it. So, you know, hopefully um, they will do something about it in the future, but it doesn't look very likely. So to obviously coat the die between the die and the ihs i have used um my paste of choice which is thermal grizzly and um, this is conductor knot in this tube now this is obviously thermal thermal grizzly's liquid metal and um, what i used between the the cooler and obviously the um ihs itself i used thermal grizzly's um cryo knot paste um, that is obviously what I swear for, not just in terms of overclocking, but I've switched that to my daily usage paste as well because it is great performing paste. It's relatively cheap in, in terms of, you know, you can buy a big 11.1 gram tubes for about £20 on Amazon. Um, Overclockers UK and obviously Caseking, it's widely available everywhere. But yeah, let's talk about pure figures and pure numbers. So in terms of the 4.5 gigahertz at 1.3 volts on the Intel i9 core, um core i9 sorry ignore me core i9 core i9 7900x processor i was actually getting thermal throttling so it was at 100 degrees so if you want to apply an overclock on your chip you know the, the stock pace from intel is terrible and it is going to be the limiting factor with the conductor knot thermal grizzly conductor knot should i say between the ihs and the die using obviously deleting it using the the, the bower the Dilid Dime X, um, I actually achieved a maximum temperature of 79 degrees. So, as you can see, it's quite a big jump. Um, so, actually, I got 21 degree increase over from obviously from 100 degrees to 79 degrees. And this actually allowed the processor to run at 4.5 gigahertz at 1.3 volt under air cooling. Now that's actually a really, really, really solid um, set of performance. Um, well, when I say air cooling, I mean all in one. I use, I actually, it's pretty much air cooling. It's not proper water cooling, is it really, if you think about it. But yeah, so the performance is there. Um, now, obviously, why would you need the Dialid Mate X? Obviously, if you're going to deal with your Skylake and KB Lake X processors and you want it done with minimal fuss, no effort at all, and you want it, you know, guaranteed 100% safe delidding process between the IHS and the die, um, then the Dialid um, Mate X is obviously what you need. Um, you, these are these are going to be available from Overclockers UK and Case King. Um, other retailers, I can't really say. Um, it really depends on the. It really depends on if the Bauer wants to sell them there. Um, obviously, Overclockers UK and Case King are very reputable retailers, and and you can expect to get the, get hold of these. Probably by the time this video is out, they're available now. If not, they'll be available within a week or two of the video going live. So yeah. I'd like to thank Case King and DeBauer for sending in the DeBauer D-Lid Dime X um, D-Lidding tool. Um, 
it's obviously gold award winning so gold award here please editor um fantastic good quality it's, I, i'm actually really impressed with the engineering that's you know been put into this and the time and effort and i think a lot of kudos should go to debauer for creating this tool it's overclockers will be rejoicing and everyone knows who debauer is and if you don't check up on hw bot um he's in the top 10 at least he's brilliant overclocker but yeah thanks to debau for sending the tool in i've been gavin from player tv please leave a like please leave a comment has this been useful would you buy one of these tools would you delid your thousand pound processor please let us know in the comments below i've been gavin from player tv thanks for watching folks and ciao for now